fuck of a song he's more concerned about rapping right now than he is really about boxing which should be pretty interesting uh, but nonetheless let's go over some headlines and discuss some up-and-coming fights which my fucking goodness boxing has been absolutely amazing lately it's only gonna get better this weekend we have Rocky Martinez uh, versus Mickey Garcia I love Mickey he's a nice guy wears a cowboy hat and fuck his last name is Garcia you already know how I feel there. Uh, and Rocky's a really good kid with mad heart, but I'm rolling with Garcia here. And of course on the undercard, we have Nonito Donaire versus Darchinian. Completely off that uh, train right there. Not expecting too much, but nonetheless should be a decent fight. And remember that movie Southpaw that Eminem was to star in? Well, he's out and Jake Gyllenhaal is in. And my God, that is the best news that I've heard about this film yet. Eminem has meth face written all over it and Jake actually boxes. This is going to be a very good move for the movie. There are dozens of boxers who are better than half the guys that we see on television. And why aren't we seeing them? Well, uh, because they don't have the right people around them. Mentally, they're just not ready to be a superstar or maybe they just don't know who the fuck to suck off. Uh, either way, VEDA is looking to change all of that with a free seminar for all amateur and pro boxers, and it's called The Winning Edge in Combat Sports. The topics include developing and maintaining a winning attitude, maintaining optimal nutrition amidst the challenges of rapid weight loss, understanding performance enhancing drugs and the latest trends, and of course, recognizing concussion and the effects of repetitive head trauma. Now this is the first time Veda has really done anything like this and I for one really appreciate it. Uh, I know a lot of guys unfortunately won't take advantage of it which is really sad. Most guys I know you know have that mindset of I already know everything, nobody's going to teach me anything. Hopefully that's not the case here and guys go into it with an open mind. Megomed is now in stable condition after having brain surgery for that blood clot. Uh, after that amazingly good fight against Mike Krez, which look guys, this is boxing. We hope for the best and have to expect the worst. Uh, these are heavyweights throwing essentially sledgehammers at each other's heads. Listen, I really sympathize here, but let's not all act surprised. Andy Lee has said Carl Frotch would be just too powerful for Golovkin in a recent interview. That's right. Andy Lee has said Carl Frotch would be much too powerful for Golovkin. <laughs> And speaking of Golovkin, he's really wanting Sergio Martinez right now, but don't expect that to happen because according to Richard Schaefer, Cotto versus Martinez is a done deal for mid-2014, which I don't think y'all know. Uh, this should be called the battle of fuck you, I'm sexy, my God. If only Jason Statham was in the mix somehow. I clearly have a type, and that type is homoerotic poster boys. Such a shame, I know. And lastly, today in Thailand at the annual WBC convention, 165 countries participated in the Supreme Champion Achievement Award. Obviously, the winner was Floyd Mayweather. Drum roll, unnecessary, really. All right, guys and dolls, that does it for this week. Tune in next week for another episode. I'll try to do headlines as well. Uh, also, some updates for the Pacquiao versus Rio fight. Really looking forward to that one. Uh, otherwise, catch me on over at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Tuffy May. All right, guys, have a great week. Take care. Bye now. I never gave a fuck if you gave a fuck. Yeah.